Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah in the Universe. Today I've got a really fun and exciting video to, for you today. I got the amazing chance to attend Star Wars Night two nights ago at Disneyland and I cannot wait to get into this video and share with you everything from the event and what I thought about it and how it compared to other years that I got to go. This was my third year going to Star Wars Night so I can't wait to get into the uh, event and share all my thoughts with you. I just want to welcome you guys back to my channel and for those of you who are subscribed, thank you for checking out another video. All right, let's get into it, everybody. So if you guys don't know what Star Wars Night is, it is an after dark uh, paid event that Disneyland holds to celebrate all things Star Wars. There are special foods for the event that are themed to Star Wars. There are uh, rare characters that you don't get to see at regular times at Disneyland that are here for the event and there's special other special offerings that I will get into. Um, okay, so every year for the event, they give out super cool lanyards that you get to wear and this was this year's design. I absolutely love it. You know, you got the light side on one side and the dark side on the other. I love it. Each year the lanyard is super different and super cool and I absolutely loved this year's uh, design. It was so great. Okay, so I'm basically just gonna uh, go in order um, of what I did at the event beginning to finish so I don't miss anything. Um, and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm old-fashioned on this channel, guys. Haven't really figured out editing. I apologize. I am a success in the making, if you will. Okay, so everything I'm just gonna show from my iPad, uh, but I uploaded better quality stuff stuff on my Instagram and my TikTok. If you want to check it out, you can. It's, it's uh, my, my user is the same as my channel name, Sarah in the Universe. But all right, let's get into it. So um, what I really liked about this year event is I felt like I had the opportunity to really do so many more things than I got to do at past year Star Wars events. Um, and let me get into that just briefly before I get into like the first thing I did. What I mean by that now I don't know if I, I, I've mentioned it a couple of times on this channel before, but when I go to Disney and some of these after dark events, my favorite thing to do is meet the characters. And that's just my favorite thing to do at the parks. And, you know, like I was saying, Star Wars Night offers, you know, rare characters that aren't there um, during regular times at the park. So, for example, they have Queen Amidala, my favorite Star Wars character. They had her there last year as well. Um, last year, we had to wait about, uh, we had to get to the park at like six o'clock and wait about two to three hours before the event started to get a wristband to meet her. It was a long time. This year, you just walked up, you know, they have you walk in the line. Uh, it's just, you're just walking by and you're taking your picture. They let you, I'll, I'll explain more when we get there, but it was a lot better, guys, and it made for that I had time to, like, check out the food, go on rides, actually, and just enjoy the event with ease and not worry about spending two to three to even four hours in a line for characters. That was incredible, Disney. I'm going to get into that more, but just want to say, you know, that's that's how, how much better I felt like this, this year's event was, but I know some people were divided about that, and I will get into that. Okay. So first thing we did, you know, we kind of chilled in Galaxy's Edge because they give you time. Um, you know, if you have a ticket to the event, you can enter at, a, I believe, um, at six o'clock and the event officially starts at nine. So, you know, they clear everyone out uh, who doesn't have a ticket to the event from the park at, I believe, eight o'clock. So you have that time to chill, go on some rides, even though I, prefer, I think you should go on rides during the event. And I'll get into that. But you have some time to get dinner, walk around the park, you know. Um, and so we kind of chilled in Galaxy's Edge, you know, it had some food there, you know, saw some, you know, some Star Wars stuff to pregame. Um, and then uh, we kind of went around, you know, once the event began at uh, kind of a little bit before nine, they opened some of the photo ops up. And let me, let me get into what, yeah, they opened some of the photo ops. Which, uh, definitely check the map if you're going to the event. They will tell you all the list of, you know, the different photo ops they have around the park and where to find them. So they had this cool, you know, like the, uh, the Rebel base. The really good quality photos. Really good quality photos. So I did that. Then we actually, we were, this one was right in Fantasyland, this photo op. So after that, we went to Peter Pan's flight. There was literally no line. Now, if you're like a Disneyland person, you know that Peter Pan's flight, that ride has a crazy long line like during regular Disney times. And so that's why I'm highly recommending like during the event, like I know you're here for like Star Wars stuff, but if you want to go on rides, especially rides that normally have a long wait time take the advantage and go on these rides because the lines were so short and even non-existent i'll get into that more later but yeah so it was really cool we started out our star wars night by riding peter pan with no wait it was so nice so nice okay so after that um 
we headed out to see Queen Amidala. Okay, she looks so beautiful. It's the same outfit from last year if you went to last year's event. Um, now, last year, you could stand next to her and get a picture, have a little convo. Uh, photo pass would take your photos. That's not how it went this year. Like I said, what it is, is as you can see, she's standing on um, a stage. And she actually has her throat. Let me get into my picture with her so you can see it a little bit better. Um, she has her throne on her stage, which looked really cool. And what they do is, so you're waiting in line in Fantasy Fair, and they, um, you know, the line just kind of, you know, walks through the theater, and then they'll bring up maybe about four, four to five people in front of the stage and be like, okay, stand in front of here and you can take your pictures. But she is interacting with people. I highly recommend trying, she tries to say hi to as many people as she can, but I highly recommend trying to say hi to her and then, you know, turning around for a picture that way. So here's my uh, picture with her. It came out very nicely. Um, you know, she saw my Princess Leia shirt and, um, she says, uh, I forgot how she, she didn't say who's on your shirt or I think she said something about like, uh, I don't know if she said who's your, but I said, oh, like, She's she's a she's a general and a princess and you would be very proud of her and she had this smile on her face that you can see in the phone it was just such a cute moment and I loved it but yeah great photo as you can see she's in her throne room I highly recommend doing this she she'll try and say hi to as many people as she can when she walks up when you walk up but like definitely try and say hello and then turn around for like that quick photo uh, it, you know it does go they don't really like rush you and tell you to leave but you also can't be like you know hogging up too much time there but the the nice part about this is that you can go back there as many times as you want the last I think they close it off at 1 a.m. when the event uh, closes for the night so in between then you can go back and see her as many times as you want no limit that I like because last year you really only got the chance to see her I did get a meter up close last year which I'm grateful for but um you, you like I said you had to camp out there for like two to three hours to get a wristband that's crazy and then if you didn't you really if you came later on during the event you had no chance to see her so this works way better for everyone I think also okay I got, a, I got a little story for you guys from last year, but let me show you this. In between when Amidala is meeting, Anakin will appear for photos very randomly. He stays off to the side of her stage and he will uh, join, come there for photos. He's not going to be there all the time. It's going to be very random. So I highly recommend you keep going back to check because you can. And luckily I caught him. Oh, I was so excited to get my picture. Let me tell you what happened with me last year with Anakin. Oh, it's so sad. So last year, like I said, I'd, I had the wristband to meet Amidala, okay? So went in, and once you, by the way, once you meet her at the wristband, after you were done last year, they cut your wristband off. You cannot go back in there, okay? But Anakin would come in and out very randomly. Last year, <laughs> as soon as I got done meeting Amidala, I get my wristband cut off, walk right out. Guess who walks in? Anakin. Oh my gosh, I was so upset. I was like, no, Anakin. Some of you might be thinking, this is a big deal. It's not like it's really hating Christian. Guys, it means a lot to me to get a picture with theme park Anakin. Okay, you don't understand. For some of us, it means everything. I know you don't get it. But, and I was so upset. And I, I, I asked, you know, I begged the cast members, like, please let me go back. And they were like, no. And so I was like, oh, so bummed. But this year, luckily, see, this is what I'm saying. This works out better for everyone. You can go back in here as many times as you want and try and get Anakin if you didn't get him the first time. So luckily, I got a shout out to Anakin and shout out to Amadou. Shout out to all the characters, man, that I got to meet. They were so cool. So, so happy about this because last year I was so bummed, man. Like, you know, and then you got to see other people meeting them and you don't get to and you're like, what? okay. So yeah, just that's my advice for seeing Amadala and Anakin. Okay. So after that, um, I, we went to in uh, Tomorrowland. You can meet Prin now. Normally, it's both Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker. I saw them last year together. To on my day when I went two days ago, um, Luke Skywalker was out. I guess he had some Jedi things to attend to. It was only Princess Leia. That did not bother me at all. She's my other favorite Star Wars character, and I was wearing her on my shirt, so I was hoping. I was I was like at least hoping she was there. And she was, so um, I got a really nice. Um, picture with her and I even got a little bit of like an interaction with her which was like so nice so it was her with her too very nice um that one too the, it works the same way as Amidala where you're waiting in line and then they'll call up uh, two people or like two groups at a time to stand in front of her her stage is smaller than Amidala so they'll have like two groups standing at a time where you can take your pictures and selfies so yeah uh, at least you you get that right you know better than nothing because last year you you walked by and they didn't even do that where you stop you just keep walking so this is like way this year was way better I think but um I know some people were bummed that you couldn't actually like 
you know stand next to them but this this works much faster it's not taking time away from the event i think in my opinion this worked way better but that's just me okay that's just me okay um i do also want to show what else you can do after that princess leia photo op um because that we ended up doing because we went twice for leia we went in the beginning then we went back then because you know i was like hey i'm gonna see these characters as many times as i can because the line goes pretty quick and this is the only time i can see them i'm getting my money's worth you know second time so after you meet luke and leia for our case it was just leia that night um the line will continue and you have the option to leave uh, but you also have the option to get two more photo ops. It's going to be a little bit more of a line depending on how many people are in there. But the two photo ops, um, one of them I believe is in my thumbnail. You actually get it with uh, Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> now you see, I'm going to get into a little story about this little guy later in the bucket. So you get that photo op. And then the other one that I love that just came out so good. That one's also in my thumbnail. I did it with my mom um is the frozen han solo and the carbon knight okay that one's so good so that like area um into it's it's in tomorrow you know what is it called where the you know star wars launch bay is it's right there so you get three things out of the way i highly recommend doing it you know you get luke and leia if they're both there it may be one of them also just warning they will take a break as the second time we went back for leia um it was just r2 and they're like well you know she might be back later so we came back later to check and she was there but they can leave at any time so i would just keep checking back if they're not there so yeah you get luke leia depending on who's there and then jabba and the Han Solo photo op. Highly recommend doing that. That's probably like one of the best spots of the night. Um, okay, so that's covered. Um, and then we tried some food. Okay, this is not the best or the most appetizing picture. I was in a rush, guys, and it got dark. So I was trying to take a photo of it at the um, like place where you pick up your food. But we tried, I believe it was called the Dueling Sliders. This was a very popular food item from the event. It's at Galactic Grill, which is also in Tomorrowland. Sorry, my picture's not the best. Basically what it is, it is what it is. You have the um the uh dark side slider versus the light side sliders you can see they have two little toothpicks in there one's red one's blue and one is a spicy slider i believe that was a dark side one and it has a chili on there and the other one was a sweet one both were very good the fries are seasoned they're curly seasoned fries so delicious guys this is great to share um i share this with my mom this was a great dish to get i think one of the best things you could get at the event so i highly recommend getting that um, it was so good. Okay, and that's at Galactic Grill in Tomorrowland. I'm just going to get into my other food item that I tried at the event just because it's right here. Um, at Jolly Holiday Bakery, we tried the, I believe it's called the Padawan Croissant. It was so good. As you can see, there's um, dragon fruit in there. It was this blue-colored cream. Very delicious. And coconut, very good and refreshing. We enjoyed this towards the end of the event. Is over there at Jolly Holiday. Great stuff. I highly recommend mobile ordering these things before the event. Um, as long as you have that ticket in your app and, you know, you can start mobile ordering these things, I believe, a couple hours before the event. Highly recommend doing that because I think things sell out and then you don't have to wait in line with everyone else to buy it, you know? Okay. Also, yes, in Tomorrowland. I, horrible picture of mine, but Palpatine... He and uh, his guards are out on top of, you know, that building where Star Wars Launch Bay is. Like, right above where Lee, Lu, can it, Luke, Lu, what, Lu, 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 Luke and Leia are meeting, okay? the ton of characters over there. So great. The castle is amazing. Tons of, like, projections going on. It's so great. And something that they did cool um, at this year's event is that they had where you could scan a QR code and vote on the light side or the dark side, which one you want to win. And I believe they do this like every hour or so. And whichever one, I believe like they would have lights on Main Street and it would just light up to either the, the light or dark side, whichever one. And, I, you know, that's just such a cool thing. It's very like game show. I love that. So I thought that was like a fun, you know, extra thing in the event. Um, yeah, and they just have like all these like really cool, uh, like what do you want to call these, like laser lights, like these these ones coming from the wall and Mickey statue, super cool, I highly recommend taking photos out here, it just, it looked awesome, I know I'm kind of like flying through, I just kind of want to, I just want, oh okay, let me show you, so yeah, you know, um, here's some of the projections that you, you can see on like the main street buildings, very cool, highly recommend taking photo and video here, because you won't see that only during Star Wars night, I'm laughing. We took photos with the Jawa. So the Jawas do have photo pass, but literally, look at how dark our photo came. Like, oh, they didn't test the lighting. 
it's fine. I mean, I can brighten this up, but like it came out so dark. Like you can't even see me, but this is why I actually think it's better to just take pictures on your phone. But the ones, uh, oh yeah, for Amidala and Leia, those walk by characters, there are no like photo pass. So just do it on your phone. But honestly, it comes out better on your phone because sometimes you don't know what the photo pass. Like you wait in line all that time and then the photos come out dark. So honestly, it's just better to take it on your phone with like the Leia and all them. So, <laughs> you know, um, I just want to get through my picture so I can just talk about stuff. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to show, like, pictures-wise. But, um, yeah, no, like, the event was super great. It was just super great. I actually went on Pirates of the Caribbean. Five-minute wait. I haven't been on Pirates since I think the parks reopened, you know. And five-minute wait, I walked on. There was, like, hardly anyone on the ride. It was so fun and kind of spooky because no one else was on. Oh, I love that ride. It's got to be, like, this had to have been one of my favorite nights at Disney just because the park was so empty. This was one of the most like emptiest Star Wars nights I've seen too and I didn't mind that at all. Like I don't know if people just felt like they had their fill of Star Wars night but I this was my favorite one yet because it was not busy. Lines were not long. That It was chill seeing the characters. You could see them as many times as you want with no wristband or long two three hour waits. Uh, I actually got to try the food. I never had a chance to try the food at the other events because I was waiting in line to meet characters the whole time. The lines were so long. Uh, I got to go on rides I just got to enjoy the park the DJ by the way shout out to the DJ I believe he, he DJs a lot of the Disney after dark events I didn't catch his name but shout out to him he was playing some absolute bangers like the songs he had like modern day music but he also had like 90s stuff oh my gosh such a great DJ to hear all these like cool songs playing throughout Disney and it was just such a vibe dude it was such a vibe like I had such a great time it was so much fun. There's so much to do and see. And the, I believe the event is like, what, like nine, ten, it's like four hours, I think, or something like that. Uh, but I actually felt like this year I, I did the most things. So it was honestly my favorite night. Yeah, I know some people felt like there wasn't a lot. Personally, I felt like there was. Like, you know me, I just just was happy to see Amidala and Leia because they're not there all the time. Um, and I actually got to try the food, like I was saying. So I feel like I got my fill here, you know. Um... I just think it's really great. I say, you know, you know, do what you want. Some people are more into coming out in their cosplays and like, you know, doing photos and all that. That's like their thing. Or maybe you're more to try the food. But I say whatever. There's still a lot to do. That Star Wars thing that we normally don't get. Um, so I highly recommend doing that. Okay. And yes, I did buy Jabba. He is new. You don't, ha he's available even not during the event. He's available all the time for Season of the Force. Um, very popular. And he comes with this little guy too like keychain <laughs> and um so it's so funny like I was like okay I'm gonna buy him towards the end of the event because I don't want to carry him the whole time you know and we went in there was like tons of people waiting in line to buy him <laughs> and they were just selling out of the Jabba thing you can also buy him at Galactic Grill but you bought him at that popcorn stand that was like right outside of Galactic Grill and there was like four left and there was still like a couple people ahead and I was like mom I don't think we're gonna get one <laughs> but I was like even if we don't get any I'll pass like I'll come back you know but um Luckily, like, we literally got the last one, and <laughs> we literally got the last one. I don't know if they brought back more, because it was almost time for the event to close. I don't know if they brought more. Maybe those people went to Galactic Girl, but this person behind us was like, is that the last one? And then I don't know what they said, but we got him. And then I took my picture with Big Jabba, you know, the photo op that I, I showed you guys, and it was just totally funny, and it was so worth it. His, um, his mouth opens. <laughs> the popcorn in there so this is just so funny and like I had to have this so here's just my fun little souvenir from the night I highly recommend um yeah the night was just so great like I, I had so much fun there there weren't any fireworks because I believe for season of the forest there I haven't you know what's weird I haven't seen it like anyone but I haven't gone to see the fireworks yet the season of the force fireworks but I haven't seen anyone post about it, so I don't know if it's still going on or what but they're supposed to do it on regular nights in Batu. I haven't personally seen it myself maybe it's just the weather it's been you know not great so I don't know but um yeah so there's no fireworks for Star Wars night honestly I know some people were bummed about that for me it didn't make a difference I'd rather do stuff you know, <laughs> um, but they still have the fan cavalcade with the lightsabers, the lightsaber meetup. Um, it, there was other, a ton of other stuff going on. So I felt like, you know, there was still a lot to do and it was just chill. It wasn't busy. I still believe they have tickets on sale for like the future Star Wars nights. I think they're going up until May, I think. Um, I honestly had a great time. Like I felt like this, like, like I said, I had, I had 
so much time to do everything I wanted. I wasn't rushing. I wasn't making sacrifices. Like you can either choose to do this or that. You know, I felt like I had time to do everything I want, you know, and I think Disney did an absolutely fantastic job. Um, I love it. I think, you know, this is not only is this a great event to experience Star Wars stuff, but to experience the park like empty and no wait times for rides. I mean, also when we were leaving, ending the night, um, they were and they play Star Wars music throughout the throughout Disney and they were playing Leia's theme music when we were walking out and we were walking by the castle and it was empty and like Leia's music's playing. Oh, it's such a vibe. Like I was like, man, this is how I want to experience Disneyland every time. <laughs> So I think you're definitely getting your tickets worth um, by buying it to Star Wars Night or really any After Dark event. Like Disney Channel Night, I didn't review that on here, um, but it that one was way busier because they hadn't done Disney Channel Night before and it was only two nights. So those ones were way more packed than like Star Wars Night, which they have multiple nights for. And this, they've had this event for a while. So, but yeah, this is a great time to go to Star Wars Night. If you haven't gotten your tickets here and you can still get some, I would go this year because so much to do and then... The park is, like, not even busy. So, let me just go through my pictures and make sure that's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I definitely take advantage of, like, the photo ops and the characters. And, yeah, it's just all really fun. Um, okay, I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to say about Star Wars Night. It was totally fun. I had a great time. I, I hope for you guys who are still going... Um, that you enjoy yourselves and maybe if you plan to go another year I think you'll have a great time I think if you're really into you know experiencing Star Wars and dressing up and seeing characters in the park or even trying special themed foods you'll have a great time and like I said it's just a great event itself to experience a nearly empty Disneyland so just really enjoyable and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy star wars night if you went um guys thank you so much for checking out another video i know this was a different video of my channel i normally do movie reviews and tv reviews and all that stuff but um shout out to everyone who is subscribed and checking out yet another video guys i appreciate you guys so much for staying subscribed and checking out another video if you guys are new to the channel i cover basically a lot of fandom stuff movie stuff i do movie reviews tv reviews i do my weekly show in the universe where we just talk about entertainment topics going on from that week and i'm also planning to cover a lot of theme park stuff like i did in this video i can't wait to check out pixar fest that is hitting disneyland i believe tomorrow oh my gosh they're doing so much for it i'm already overwhelmed i can't wait to check that out for you guys and let you know what's up um so guys if you'd love to join the channel no pressure but I, i'd love to have you here guys thank you so much for checking out another video i will see you guys in my next video very soon take care everyone and have a great week <laughs> thank you guys so much